a very good evening to all it's time for children's bedtime treasury with let emotion speak don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel do let me know how you like the story in the comments below today's story is about murag the witch murag was just an ordinary witch until the day she enrolled for a course of advanced spell casting at the wizard witch and warlock institute of magic for that was where she met professor fizzlestick now professor fizzlestick was a very wise old man indeed murag on the other hand was a very vain young witch who didn't know as much as she thought she did she could turn people into frogs if they really deserved it and do other simple spells like that but she still had a lot to learn the problem was murag thought she was the most perfect little witch in the whole wide world murag's adventure started on her very first day at school at the beginning of the day after all the young witches and wizards had made friends and met the teachers they were called in one by one to talk to professor fizzlestick now young murag i taught both your mother and your father said the professor in a very serious voice and a very fine witch and wizard they turned out to be so what kind of witch do you think you are going to be without giving this any thought at all murag blurted out i'm better than my parents and i'm probably better than you this answer surprised even murag for although she thought this was true she didn't actually mean to say it don't be surprised by your answers said professor fizzlestick there is a truth spell in this room and whatever you truly believe you must say and i have to say that you appear to have an enormously high opinion of yourself why don't you tell me what makes you so very good i am clever said murag and i am good and i am always right but what about your dark side said professor fizzlestick i'm sorry to disappoint you replied murag but i'm afraid i'm simply don't have a dark side well in that case i would like you to meet someone very close to you said professor fizzlestick with a smile on his lips murag looked over to where professor fizzlestick pointed and was startled to see on the sofa next to her herself as murag stared open mouthed with astonishment the professor explained that if as she believed she was without a dark side then there was absolutely nothing to worry about if however he continued you have deceived yourself then i'm afraid you are in for a few surprises with that the professor dismissed them both from the room and told them to get to know each other As Murag and her dark side stood outside the professor's room, Murag's dark side jumped and whooped for joy. At last, she cried, "I'm free. I don't have to sit and listen to you telling me what's right all day. I don't have to keep persuading you to choose the biggest slice of cake before your brother. In fact, I don't, I repeat, don't have to do anything that you tell me at all." So saying, she broke into a run and rushed down the corridor, knocking over chairs and bumping into other little witches and wizards along the way. Murag was horrified. She would have to follow her dark side and stop her from causing trouble. Murag chased after her dark side and finally caught up with her at the chocolate machine. "Don't eat all that chocolate!" cried Murag. "You know it's bad for your teeth." and will ruin your appetite for lunch. Tss, scoffed her dark side. You might not want any chocolate, but I certainly do. And with that, she ran off once more, dropping chocolate onto the freshly polished floor, as well as pushing a big piece into her mouth. Just then, the bell sounded for lunch. Although Murag felt she ought to find her dark side, She also knew that the bell was a command to go to the dining hall 
and she mustn't disobey it. Murag sat down to lunch next to her friend, Topaz. She was just about to tell her what had happened when she saw that Topaz was not eating her vegetables. Murag scolded Topaz for this and gave her a lecture on eating healthily. Topaz stared at Murag in amazement, then peered closely at her. What's happened to you? she asked. Murag explained what had happened in Professor Fizzlestick's office and then declared, And you know, it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I thought I was good before, but now I'm even better. I never want my dark side back again. But we must find her and lock her up so that she cannot do any harm. Topaz agreed that they must find a dark side, but secretly hoped that she and Murag would be reunited. Murag wasn't Murag without her dark side. After lunch, Murag went for her first lesson of the afternoon. When she walked into the classroom, she discovered her dark side already there, busy preparing spells. Murag's dark side had already prepared a turning a nose into an elephant's trunk spell and a turning skin into dragon scale spell and was just finishing off a turning your teacher into stone spell. Murag suddenly heard a trumpeting noise from the back of the classroom. She turned to find that the wizard twins, Tensil and Doranian Dilly Daily, had both sprouted huge grey trunks down to the ground where their noses had been. Murag rushed over to her dark side to make her change them back. But before she could reach her, she tripped over a creature crouching down on the floor. It looked just like a dragon and it was wearing a purple and white spotted dress last seen on Bettina Bumblebag. Murag's dark side was casting spells all over the place. Oh, why doesn't the teacher stop her? cried Murag to Topaz. I'm sure you've guessed by now. Miss Chuckle was entirely turned to stone from head to foot. Just then, Professor Fizzlestick walked into the classroom. Murag pointed to her dark side, still making spells at the front of the classroom. Lock up her immediately, Murag begged the professor. I'm afraid that you are the only one who can do that, said the wise old man. The two of you are inseparable and you need each other. Without your dark side, you would be unbearable and without you, she is dreadful. Have I your permission to lock her back inside you? Even though Murag didn't want any part of her dark side back, she agreed reluctantly. Her dark side instantly disappeared and Murag felt wonderful. Oh, it was so good to be back to be normal, to be basically be good but occasionally mischievous. Thank you, said Murag to the professor. I think I've learned something very valuable today. There is good and bad in everyone, replied the professor, even the most perfect of witches. Murag blushed when she remembered what she had said earlier that morning. But she was so relieved to find she was normal that she really didn't mind. Murag and Topaz went back to the classroom to undo all the bad things Murag's dark side had done. But on the way, they both felt a huge urge for a snack. So they stopped at the chocolate machine first. So kids, did you enjoy this story? And have you learnt your lesson? That each person has a good side and a bad side. It's a perfect blend to make a perfect chocolate. Now it's time to say goodbye and good night.